this video we are going to discuss about how to obtain Ramachandran plot, secondary structure prediction and uh, active site prediction of your protein of interest. So first of all we need a protein sequence to which we are going to build a model. So as we have discussed in our last video about how to get a protein sequence from NCBI. So I recommend you to watch it before. Uh, so to get a protein sequence first of all uh, open NCBI and put your input as a protein name following by its organism. So I will search pyruvate kinase along with its organism name. Pyruvate kinase for E. coli. Search this option and uh, uh, in the last you will get a faster sequence of your protein. So just copy this protein sequence and in the next tab open this model and then click on the start modeling after clicking you will get a column to which you uh, you have to paste your uh, faster sequence so just paste your sequence and it will get validated after a second and uh, then click on the build model so while clicking on the build model you will get a uh, this type of uh, a new tab this type of new tab so here you can see there are two type of models is model number 2 is model number 1 the uh, difference is that this structure is a homotetramer and this structure is homodimer. So one magnesium ion is, is necessary to to uh, necessary for its functioning. So here you can see a ligand is one magnesium ion and here you can see a two magnesium ion. So it's your protein, mm, it's your pyruvate kinase, mm, py pyruvate kinase protein and uh, in the next if you want to know about the Ramachandran plot then click on the structure assessment either you can get uh, um, Ramachandran plot for model 2 or model 1 so click on the structure assessment and in the next tab you will get a uh, Ramachandran plot like this and you can also get information about your residue uh, which are involved in the forming of left-handed alpha helix or in the right-handed alpha helix or uh, are involved in the uh, plated sheets. So if I click here you can get see how randomly these amino acids are managed to form a left-handed alpha helix. In the right-handed alpha helix you can see a yes here you can see these are right handed alpha helix so ultimately you can see this is forming a right handed alpha helix so it's your Ramachandran plot so in the next if you want to know about the active site of your protein so you have to first compare your protein of uh, uh, if you uh, like if you uh, are working on E. coli then you have to search same protein for another organism like uh, I did it for the cyanobacterium aponium aponinum so op I copy this faster sequence of, of the same protein the pyruvate kinase copy this protein and I'll open uniprot in the uniprot you will get uh, you can see a box and you just paste your sequence with this sign just paste both the sequence of proteobacteria and cyanobacteria and then click on the run align so after alignment sorry so after alignment you can see there are much similarity between the two sequences somewhere like uh, in the first uh, 60 amino acids there are much similarity between tyrosine, lysine, isoleucine, valine, alanine, uh, alanine, tyrosine, no no no, alanine, threonine, there are some no, 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 abnormality. So I will click on the similarity and I have to choose a type of stretch, stretch with the star, stretch with star. So I will click here. These these are somewhat like uh, more similar, and then this stretch 
this stretch these stretches are ultimately show similarity between the uh, proteins which are necessary for their functioning so yeah we have these stretch of similarity and uh, we can say cassette sequence which is necessary for its functioning of uh, or, or we can say it's uh, it will ultimately mark a uh, active site in the enzyme so i will open the swiss modeling for this protein yes i will open swiss modeling for this protein and search for the same sequence like i have to search this sequence you can see d l q g p for uh, almost 7 to 8 and uh, it between 61 to 120 and which is composed of uh, aspartate leucine then glutamine then glycine proline then lysine isoleucine arginine valine so you can see this is uh, it's a whole stretch so it must be somewhere uh, responsible for the active site formation of the enzyme uh, in the next uh, you can see a stretch between 240 to 299 amino acid residues and here you can see also the ITATQM in the next you can see DGTDA MLS so yes this these stretch are responsible for the active site of your enzyme so you want to know about these uh, active sites so just you have to compare your sequence with another sequence and uh, then again open in in the Swiss modeling so as we have already discussed about this Swiss modeling so what you have to do is just click on the your uh, target sequence that for E. coli paste your sequence and then validate and then click on the upload target sequence no, no, no. add hetero here click on the add hetero target and paste your another sequence of your pyruvate kinase that you want to compare so just copy the sequence and paste it as your target sequence and then build your model so when you build your model you will get somewhat like uh, this okay so it's a hetero one three mer you can see it's a hetero dimer uh, hetero tetramer it's a hetero tetramer because uh, all we uh, all we know that one magnesium is used for the dimerization and uh, to use for the ectocyte formation so in this sequence you want to know about your ectocyte okay so just write down the sequence DLQZP and find it in your here in your Swiss model DLQZP yeah here DLQZPKIRVG this sequence is your active site forming sequence just see here it's your active site you can see this whole this whole stretch is making your active site so yeah you can see it as yeah your C D L yeah here you can see how your stretch is moving on the inside of your structure so now you better know that in this structure you have more than one active site where one active site here one active site here two active site here yes so you have 
four more uh, four more active site here in your given structure so as you can see there are more than more than one active site in this uh, tetrameric form so i think uh, you have understand all of the about all of about uh, uh, how to find the ramachandra plot for your protein how to uh, how to get a secondary structure and how to get uh, the active site of your enzyme so i hope i hope it will it will help you in your exams and your laboratory work thank you